For now, though, for the first time in its 46-year history, the National Arts Festival is being held virtually. The online celebration of arts got underway on Friday. And aside from a few technical glitches, the festival, we understand, remained relatively steady in showcasing everything set out for that day. The live event was suspended when COVID-19 uh, shuttered theaters, cultural spaces, and festivals globally. So rather than cancelling the event, the organization decided to take the experience online for 11 days. Unprecedented. The festival will continue until Sunday, the 5th of July, and includes art, music, theater, uh, dance, talks, comedy, and all more uh, of those kind of things that we expect from the festival. This year's run is a richly diverse collection of works with totals of about 270 hours of viewing online. Media personality and host of the virtual National Arts Festival Nontobega CBC joins us now for a bit more on this. Hi, Nontobega, thanks for your time. So here you are making history in one way or the other. How has the experience gone for you so far? Oh, wow, Ayanda. I think it's, it's just one of those experiences that anyone can go through, um, especially with the TV process, especially when you're trying something out for the very first time. You know, it's so amazing that the National Arts Festival has taken the plunge to say, the artists have to carry on living, enter us coming into the picture. Now, I came into the picture because I run my own production company where we pitched these seven-minute shows to say, listen, let us arrange the safe community space for seven minutes where we interact with some of the artists that are going to be on the virtual platform. Find out about them. How has their process of creating been? How are they doing like right now, particularly also financially as well? So for us, it's been a lot of running and a lot of trying to churn out the content and live up to the promise that we're still pushing, we're still hustling, which is, uh, I think, the kind of motivation that every artist needs to know right now that the platform is there. Let's keep churning out this content as much as possible. And that's been our commitment, and we've been doing it. And to give you an idea, the National Arts Festival has been doing this in 100 days. Us as a production company, OK Show Media, we jumped in about three weeks ago to promise to make these daily entertaining magazine shows that are keeping you guys in the loop with what's happening with the arts and entertainment lineup on that platform. So you can just imagine behind the scenes to make sure that in the palace we see and the Sanganese sends a young talent to see Koken. Yeah, no matter what, Jad. You know, you you get a sense that for the first time we're getting a sense of how this could happen virtually. I think theoretically there'd been a whole lot of conversations, especially at the beginning of the pandemic. But it also presents unique challenges, doesn't it? For one, you need people who are skilled with digital storytelling, which wasn't necessarily needed before this pandemic when people could just walk into a theatre and watch a play unfold on stage. Yeah, I know the thing is, it's quite a sensitive process because one, this is a spiritual thing. Mm. So already that's another dynamic that you have to try, put it in technical terms so that people still get that energy on an online display. So already starting with the artists themselves, it's like your minus the live audience so that the energy is that call and response. So it's been homework for all of us. But what I love is that there's just this energy and this commitment to saying that hashtag we're still creating regardless of the hiccups and what's going on. Like all the artists I've interviewed on my shows, for example, have saying, how we are virtual. It's just been so interesting to create. So when you're creating in that safe space, it's like, let me just do it. Let me give it a try. Let me call some collaborators together, see what their ideas are. Let me call some digital creatives, some digital freelancers. Now is the time to say, Bafetu, here's the table. This is the vision. Where do you see your role in this? What's your contribution? And that's where we all have been coming in to saying, let's keep this bus going. Let's keep this bus going. Because in a way, we are making history. In a way, we're making a big move to say artists survive on the platform. Like, for example, the Fringe Festival. The Fringe Festival on this particular program, they have 90% of the income proceeds goes directly to the French artists themselves. If this festival had halted, imagine how many 250 performances would have been halted because of that. So mm -hmm. we are living in each other in this energetic way to say, so it's a collective force. It's the collective energy and saying, we're still creating, Ayanda. Absolutely. With the artists you've spoken to, um, how many of them are now open to the prospects of a hybrid festival moving forward? You know, often now we don't no longer speak of a post-COVID-19 world. We speak of a 
you know, COVID-19 world as we live and continue with our lives? You know, uh, do you think there is that prospect of, of that happening, having uh, the festival being hosted, I guess, both virtually and in the physical sense, so to speak? Ayanda, we are blowing our own minds away. I don't think things can ever be the same again. We are pushing new ground where even if we get to Makanda next year, I see a beautiful integration of virtual and live experience together. And that's how you get virtual reality. That's how you get all of these things where people are just saying, let's tap in some more. There's going to be a clear emergence between technology and art, which is already coming through, for example, on your Captivate stages where productions, basanganisama WhatsApp, basanganisama live Zoom, how does it go back to the stage, my CJ? Mm. So I think it's really inserted and interesting see to set the tone of Wuti. Next year we're going bigger and better. As a production for OK Show Media, I'm already got bigger ideas of how to better pitch this um, collaboration and virtual experience. You know, next year, who knows? Maybe next year you'll be crossing to me in Makanda with my virtual crosses, also interacting with you. We don't know, but. What we love now about COVID is that everything is being sped up. Everyone is being free about the ideas. We're literally putting the imposter syndrome on pause and just taking the trajectory far with it. And if this is the first year of amazing, I'm scared to think what the second year is going to be doing. Goba, show show Sobangena Ayanda, number two one. Like Ngazi is Wuti, Sobangena strong. Absolutely, all right. If your energy is anything to go by, this is definitely something to look forward to. Thank you very much for your time. I certainly appreciate your insights. That, of course, is Nanto Beba CBC, who is, amongst many other things, also the host of the Virtual National Arts Festival, which is currently taking place online.